All right, boys, so we've made it to the deadline day. As you can see, I've simmed only one hour of it. And it's, it's time to make some pretty important choices. If you've been following the, the the career mode, you would know that I put in an offer for Christian Benteke because he's a player that I had in the last career mode. In my last career mode, I did when I played with Austin Villa, and we went ham if you watched that last year in FIFA 13. And he was a great player for me. So I really want to bring him into the club. Uh, I think he would be an amazing striker for us. And I put an offer in for him. So we'll see if they say yes to it. Now, another guy that I would love to have on this team is Lukaku. Now, the problem with Lukaku is... I think Lukaku just went on loan from Chelsea, which means I don't think we can buy him, which really, really sucks uh, that we can't get him because uh, he is a player that I am heavily interested in. I'm also going to quickly go make a few a few Portuguese league moves. I want to put an offer for Rodrigo because I know Rodrigo is a young Spanish kid with a lot, a lot, a lot of potential, but it's not just the potential. Rodrigo has been great in most of FIFA's for the past like three years. Uh, FIFA, well, two years, I guess. FIFA, what was it, 12? 12 2? I'm not sure if he was good in 12, but 13, he was amazing. 14, he seems to be just as much as a beast as he was in 11. I mean, in uh, Jesus Christ, I can't get nothing right. Just as much of a beast as he was in 13 that he was in 14. So I'm going to go ahead and put an offer in for Rodrigo. Obviously, I know the kid must sell for loads of money. Uh, so I think I'm just going to put an offer of $16 million in. Uh, the same offer that I put in for Lukaku and see if possibly it happens or if it doesn't happen. Who knows what's going to happen here? Uh, clearly, they're not going to take that because that's not 16 million. My bad, guys. I did go to school. I promise you. I promise. Promise. Um, so we'll put that offer in. See what happens. I could shoot for Cardozo. Now, you guys will be like, why the hell do you want Cardozo? Cardozo's left foot is amazing. Uh, I'm not going to do it because playing the 4-2-3-1, the I need a, a, a quicker striker in the front. Not someone super fast, but someone a bit faster than what Cardozo can offer. If I was playing a 4-1-2-1-2, I would definitely shoot for Cardozo because that left foot would just be goals from everywhere. I'm also going to quickly put an offer of $16 million in for Jackson Martinez. Now, I know this is a noob move because they, Jackson Martinez probably sells for less than $16 million. Uh, do they say what he sells for? Damn, see, they don't say. Maybe I should just say I'm interested and see what they say. But uh, I kind of want to feel it out, but I don't have much time to make moves. I'm pretty sure they're not going to give me Christian Benteke for $16 million. Uh, But we'll shoot for the stars and go with it one hour off of it. And you can see that two offers have came in or two things from the office has come in. Um, Jackson Martinez, they want $29 million for, so there's no way I'm going to be able to get him. We reviewed the offer you've made for Christian Benteke, and we cannot accept the terms because the player is too valuable to us. All right, so you guys want to act all big and tough guy about it, and, and that's fine. Uh, you know, I can respect that, but what, what, what you need to respect is that I'm Manchester United, and um, Manchester United doesn't take no as an answer. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, uh, where the hell is Christian Benteke's offer at? There it is. All right, so uh, you want to you wanna play hard to get? You want to act like Mr. Tough Guy? Um, say no to 20 million and 20 million, but not just 20 million. See, I'm in need. I want this guy, right? So say no to 20 million and, um, and uh, let's see, say no to 20 million and who's it going to be? Who's leaving? Someone's leaving here, boys. Who's it going to be? Someone raise the hand if you want to leave. Go on, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Go on, raise your hand. Someone has to go. I don't, one of you. Anybody? Damn, I don't see anybody to let go of. Uh, should I let go of Raphael? Should I put Raphael in this move? Mm, Raphael has potential, I would imagine. Young, coming up. Ever ain't going. Uh, Raphael? Raphael? Nah, man, I can't do it. I don't think I should do Raphael because Jones, he's also pretty young. Mm. Zaha, I think I'm gonna try Zaha. I think I'm gonna try Zaha, and I know this is a noob move uh, because Zaha has mad potential. Uh, but mm, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put nobody. Remove players. 20 million flat. 20 million flat for Christian Benteke. Let's make it happen, baby. Please, let's make it happen. I want a striker in this team. Um, let's go ahead and look at some more transfer, uh, like what we can do in this market. Let's see if anybody has players up for sale. And let's see if uh, if there's somebody that we would be interested in. Now, I'm not sure how FIFA, FIFA 13, people never put players for sale in the beginning. I'm not sure how FIFA 14 works, but... Um, Let's see if any name stands out to us here. I'm also trying to think of a really, really good striker I would love to have on my team. A striker that won't cost me an arm and a leg, and a striker that I would enjoy to play with. I've seen a lot of people give me a few, a few options. Um, 
Should I go for Huntalar? Something tells me to go after Huntalar. I don't know why. I don't I have no idea why, but there's something telling me like Huntalar could be my guy. Huntalar could be a guy that that I would love to have on this team 